morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer via Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at Trans West and Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. We are Cimarron and Logan dealers, so if you're looking for a brand new trailer, those are the two options that we carry. If you're looking for something used, we've got anything from little bumper pulls to big LQs that we take in on trade. Right behind me, I have a 2024 Cimarron North Star 3 Horse Gooseneck. This is a great example of some of the inventory that we carry here on our lot. There's a lot of things that we do with our inventory trailers that are a step up just from the very base models. Now the cool thing about a Cimarron trailer is it's completely customizable. So you have different models, but it's mostly to designate um, what type of animals you're hauling in there. So we've got our, our Lone Stars, which are stock combos. The North Stars are our horse trailers. Trans Stars are our cargo trailers, um, so on and so forth. So, this is an example of our, our North Star horse trailer. It means we've got drops on the head. We did bus windows on the hip side on this one. But if you were to take one of these trailers and, and order it, you could pick really any options you wanted. You can lengthen the floor by every three inches. You can length it, or add height by every three inches. We've got different widths that we can build these in. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in building a trailer that completely suits your needs. Now, if you're gonna walk here on the lot and wanna pick up a trailer today, um, or you need to something a little sooner than the build times allow, this is a great example of what we carry here. Uh, that is a great run around. Let's go ahead and start up at the front and we can work our way back. So first things first, adjustable 25K coupler made by B&W Trailer Hitches. This is actually a design that was customized between Cimarron and B&W um, to make a really high quality hitch for our Cimarron trailers. It is completely adjustable. We even have a new style handle that they did on the 24s, which allows us to get that lower position for that hole. If you've got a truck that sits a little higher, if you're hauling it on a hauler bed, anything like that, it gives you a little more flexibility on where you place this so that you can get your trailer riding nice and level. We've got the, the pin as well as the two set screws here, so you can really get this adjusted and nice and secure. You're not just trying to crank these down as much as you can and just hoping that they'll stay. Um, this pin will allow you to have that weight sit on that pin and help prevent any movement there. We've got a breakaway cable right here. Uh, I like their cable. It's, it's kind of on a bungee. It's got a little spring to it. It's much better than those old long uh, cables that they used to have where they always get tangled up. This is a really great option. Gives it the flexibility that it needs, but kind of stays out of the way. And then you've got your two safety chains as well. Cimarron went really high tech on their 24s. They've got their user's manual as a QR code. So you don't ever have to worry about storing that manual in your truck anymore. It is right here, easy to access with any smartphone. Underneath this trailer here, we've got our spare tire. We did a crank jack on this one. But the cool thing about where we located this spare is that if you ever want to add an electric over hydraulic in the future, we've located this spare tire so that it doesn't need to be moved to accommodate that. Now, a lot of trailers, you'll see the spare sits a little bit down lower and on a 610 wide trailer like this one, you don't have quite enough room for that hydraulic jack leg if you were to add it after the fact. So we've kind of thought ahead, gone ahead and put it up here up high where it's still easy to access, but it gives you plenty of room to add that electric over hydraulic jack. These tires themselves, this is the same exact tire as what's up running on the ground. Um, these tires are offered by Lion's Head, so Cimarron purchased them from Lion's Head. They come with their own warranties, so they have a one year no questions asked, so even if you hit a road hazard, they will repair or replace your tires for one year without any questions. You just need to send in the documentation that they need and they'll ship you a new tire. Uh, then you've got two years of roadside assistance and five years against any manufacturer defects. So really great warranty just on the tires. Cimarron does all aluminum wheels as their standard options. So it's really nice. You can get a nice clean looking wheel. We went ahead and added this one uh, with black, black spoke wheels. I think it just really dresses up the exterior of the trailer. You can also do silver spoke or if you want to upgrade to um, Alcoa's, Continental's, uh, SRW wheels, we've got different options for those as well. Um, these, these spares that run on the ground, uh, 
they are load range E, so I, I know a lot of trailer companies will put um, the the cheapest tra trailer tires they can find on there. These are Goodyear's, so really high quality brand um, with, with 10 ply tires on them. As far as warranties on the rest of the trailer, your Cimarron's are covered hitch to bumper for three years for any Cim Cimarron manufactured parts. And then they've got an eight year structural warranty on them as well. So they really stand behind their products for a long time. The rest of the dimensions on these trailers, I mentioned this is six nine wide. Uh, we've got seven one height, and then we've actually got an 18 foot floor length. So this is a really handy size to pull around. Great run around trailer. If you've got one, one to three horses, this is a great option for you. Gets nice and small so you can get it in and out of trailheads. Um, parking lots, really easy. This is something that you're not gonna mind hooking onto and driving just about anywhere. Now we did a swing out saddle rack on this one. So you'll notice that on some run swing out saddle racks, we still have plenty of room to get by when these saddles are swung out. I think that is a huge factor. A lot of brands you have to swing that saddle rack in or you have to squeeze by. Your saddles get hung up on the door frame as they come out. We do a nice big 42 inch wide door to allow that room to accommodate all these big western saddles or room to squeeze by there. We've also, on our standard inventory options, we always option them with a fold down step. I think it makes it so much easier to get in and out of these trailers. Even though you're you're having, would have running, running boards running all the way to the front here, this is much lower down to the ground, wider step. This is like a must have for all of our customers here at TransWest. On the door here, we've got a nice big 42 inch wide door, so we've got room for those swing out blanket bars. Um, they're just on a gas shock. You can load those blankets on, close it nice and tight against the wall there, or against the door there. And then a brush box is what we optioned on this one. Just a nice place to throw all your, your brushes and fly sprays, um, everything that you want just here, easy to access. And then up on the door here, we do have a little window you can slide open, get some airflow going. If you've got sweaty saddle pads, this is a great place to locate that window. In the actual tack room itself, this is quite roomy. It's a three foot eight short wall. So you've got plenty of room in this tack room, um, especially for one to three horses. This is a great, great amount of space. In this corner here, we've tucked our, our corner water tank. Um, it's a 25 gallon, it's on a stand. It's got its own hose. Great use of space there because that's kind of a dead space otherwise your saddles swing back there. So it's nice to be able to have your own water that you can bring from home. If you never use it, it's a great selling feature for trade. Right here we've got our 12 bridle hooks. We did a top and bottom row here. You can always ha request more bridle hooks if you want to add more. It's a really easy option to include. And then we've got a nice big, big shelf with a lip on it. It's 18 inches deep got this clothes bar that runs underneath it so you can hang all of your your garments and and uh, show stuff right here and you can see how heavy duty it is I mean I'm tugging on it pretty good it's not something that's just gonna rip right off the wall if you throw some weight on it up here in the nose we've got these two windows on either side you can let some air in if you want maybe you're want to take a nap between shows there you just throw your mattress up here and get some nice airflow and then something else that they did stand around the 24s is all your goosenecks uh, will have this bracing for AC units. So a lot of people were liking the option to have the bracing there. That way if they wanted to add an AC or a fan or a vent down the road, they didn't have to go in and have an aluminum welder come in and, and make the bracing for it. So that is something we've done standard on our 24s. We did a partial boot box on this one. It's 12 inches deep makes it so easy to step on and off. This is an aluminum boot box. So it's not, like I said, Cimarron, when they build all of their, their accessories, they do them right. And then down on the floor, we option this one with rubber mats. Carpet is standard, but most of our customers don't really like carpet on the floor as an option anymore. So almost everything you'll see here will have the rubber mats or gray rubber tread on the floor. Right here, we did big Optobrite lights. These Optobrite lights put out so much light. They're all LED, they have low power draw, and one of these will light this thing up like daylight. Especially with all these white sheets here, these aluminum white sheets, all that light just bounces off it, makes it appear really, really bright. So 
So as we work our way around here, starting from the bottom and working our way up, we've got two 6,000 pound rubber torsion axles. So plenty of axle underneath this trailer for what you're gonna be hauling. And then right above that, you've got your three tie rings. We've got three per exterior per side. And then a big 16 inch awning light over where you tie your horses. Once again, LED, low power draw, lots of light that it pulls out, puts off. And I, what I really like about it is it's kind of keeps that clean, sleek appearance all the way down that top rail, but you don't have to worry about if you drive by a tree, ripping that off if it's a standalone stop spotlight unit. These extrusions are really cool here. They actually add quite a bit of structural strength to the sides of your trailer. There are triple hollow slats behind here. So anytime we can add a radius to something, we're adding strength. These all interlock into each other. So the extrusions interlock into each other and they interlock into the rear frame and the running board. It's like a giant puzzle piece when they put these trailers together. But the nice thing about these extrusions is they add quite a bit of structural strength to the side of the trailer, which will help maintain the rigidity as you go down the road. A couple different options we can do on the hip side here. We option this one with bus windows which are really popular option here in Colorado. It's what's also standard. Um, if you're looking for something with drops on the hip side, we tend to try and keep some of those in stock, or we can also get them with just the air, air gaps with the plexi if it's something else you want. On this rear door here, we've got a nice big window. Get a lot of air, move over the backs of these horses. We did a 60-40 door setup. Since we're 610 wide, it kind of gives us some flexibility on if you just want to open this door here you've got plenty of room to get a horse in and out if you've got really well broke horses if you have something young or nervous you can open both of these and make it a nice big open inviting area for them rubber mats come standard in the stall area and a lot of people will go and upgrade to worm flooring it's a great option um, and it's something we can still do after the fact you can see this whole stall area is kick matted we've got kick mats even on the partition walls Everything in this stall area is lined and insulated. So these horses are gonna stay nice and cool. We've got two more of these Optibrite lights in here, which is gonna, like I said, throw off tons of light. Everybody's really impressed with how bright these trailers are um, when they're hooked up to their tow vehicles. And then you've got, up above, you've got three roof vents, and it is actually in an insulated roof. So every single Cimarron, from a little bumper pole to a big LQ, actually has that insulated roof. And that insulated roof is called a fiber tech roof. It's got a honeycomb core, so it has a lot of structural strength to it, um, an R3 thermal value, and it's incredibly strong. I could jump up and down that roof if I wanted to. You'll notice how much farther apart all of these roof bows are on a Cimarron. And that's because structurally, you don't need those roof bows to walk on. You can walk up and down this roof without having to look for these roof bows. So it's a really cool option. It's standard on every single Cimarron and it's probably one of their best selling features. The other thing that I like to point out is Cimarron's floor system. So they've actually got a four inch extruded aluminum deck. So you've got a center support every four inches on these trailers and every other support is actually a V truss. So it's gonna add a lot more strength. When you think about the size of a horse's hoof, it's about four inches wide. So if you think about that, a lot of trailers you'll get those dips where horses stand you walk in on a Cimarron, especially when they went to that four inch structure with the V truss every other, you'll notice that you won't get those sags and those dips where those horses stand because they're always standing on a center support. It's a really, really cool option. We're kind of on an angle here, but you can see that this spring loaded divider is trying to hold back against the wall. Really nice option. Um, a lot of people, when they load their horses in and out, they're always fighting dividers um, to keep them back doesn't scare the horses when it knocks them in the butt or anything like that. So they try and keep everything in mind that one handed operation. So it's easy as that to close these dividers and then they just pop right open here to open up. So really simple operation. Cimarron does the same type of quiet ride that a lot of other brands do. So they'll buffer anywhere they've got metal to metal contact as an option, you'll have some sort of high grade plastic um, that's gonna help deaden that sound. Also something that people aren't aware of is metal and metal actually wears a lot faster. So having some sort of buffer will increase the longevity of all of your parts. 
Now, as far as dimensions on these stall areas, we've got a 39 inch wide stall, 39 inch wide stall, and a 46 inch wide. This last one's a little bigger, lets those horses have room to step in and get their butt over before you close the door. But also, when we add a little bit of length, this divider, we don't have to do a telescoping um, in order to get it flat against the wall. So if you ever had to run with this trailer with all the dividers open, you can get it flat against the wall without having to worry about sticking it out at an angle. Really nice option there. On these three horses, they have standard, a stud divider on the first stall with an escape door. Now, this is a really nice option because if you were just hauling two horses, this first stall you could load with hay and coolers and buckets. And you don't have to worry about them sliding back into your horse's legs. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in that as well. Something else we've started doing standard on almost all of our trailers is divider pads. You don't need them on a Cimarron. Um, everything's got a smooth, I mean, I can run my hands all over these Cimarron dividers and I don't have to worry about any sharp spots or, or anywhere that my horse is gonna get nicked up. But a lot of people have horses that are maybe a little bit lighter in color. And if they stand there and rub against this aluminum, it's gonna leave those gray marks on them. So this kind of keeps them off those dividers, keeps them nice and clean. So if you show up to a show, they're not gonna be covered in marks. Plus a lot of people kind of like that they have some padding to lean against. Um, I mean, I think we all just want our horses to be as comfortable as possible when they travel. As we work our way around to this side, I wanted to point out that 16 inch awning light on this side as well. And then we've got those three tie rings over here. So you can tack on either side of the trailer. Got huge bus windows on the, on the head side of these horse, horse stalls here. And these jail bars are all one solid piece. This is one of my favorite parts about these drop down windows is you don't have a bar or a string that you need to collapse. They're nice and heavy duty. Um, something that's really gonna hold up, have great longevity. Once again, plastic buffers here. Keep it nice and quiet for those horses when it's in the, in the right position here. We can run with them down against the side of the trailer here. You saw how hard it was from, these are, these are pop sockets behind here and they suction against the side of the trailer. So you don't have to worry about this getting picked up by wind and smashing against the, the side of the trailer as you drive. Something that I like to point out is how much framing is actually behind the walls or the, the sheeting on these trailers. Um, they're incredibly strong. I like to have people try and try and tweak these or bend these drop downs when they come check out these trailers. It just shows you how well built they are. We've got grease dirt hinges here on these drop downs and door frames, which means that you can go in and um, maintain these hinges for years and years to come. I do my grease certs on my Cimarron a couple times a year, but it all depends on use. But if you can maintain those hinges, it's gonna keep everything working really smoothly and prevent any of those hinges from binding up on you. Now, you do have to maintain them, but if you do, it's gonna help increase the longevity of those parts. You don't have to worry about things getting seized up. We've got a drop down window on this escape door as well. Um, it's a little bit smaller, but it's still bigger than what most of the other companies are running. Gives you lots and lots of airflow on these trailers. We did the white sheets on this one. Um, you can see as you pan down our line here, we've got tons of different options for colors. We've got silver metallic, charcoal metallic black, and then we can get into really custom colors. Seems like these white trailers sell really well. Um, they do stay a little bit cooler. I think people like that aspect. But if you've got a particular color you're looking for, you can always ask us, they're custom built trailers. If you guys have any questions on this particular unit, maybe you love this one, but you want it in a four horse, it's a good chance we either have it on order or have it sitting here. You can check out this stock number on our website at transwest.com. It's 5N231755. I always send you over the build sheets. You can take a little bit closer look at the dimensions of this one. If you have any questions, I would love to help you guys. My name is Callie Say. My direct line is 970-309-6368. You can call or text at that number. I would be more than happy to help you either with this one or any other trailers you're looking for. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in today. I hope everybody has a really great Friday.